this famous cheesecake recipe come from? It comes from my mother-in-law, Miss Julia Moore, which is Julia's grandmother. That's 84 years old. Okay. So, um, tell me the steps to this cake. Like, Okay, the first step to this cake is one box of Duncan Hine cake mix. What's the next? The next step is one cup, one cup of sugar. The next? The, the third step is one stick of real butter. The next step is um, eight ounces of cream cheese. Next step is two thirds of a cup of milk. Cup of milk. That messed up. Okay. And the next step is one half cup of oil. The next step is four eggs. Okay, the next step to this cake is one cup of plain sugar. Excuse me, one cup of plain flour. Can you do that on? You blend that all together. They're all looking in real good and real fine. All together. Okay, it's best to use Pam in your pan. So grease your pan real good with Pam. And in there even, try to get it all around real even. Okay, now I'm putting it in the oven on 350 for about an hour. So, how long have you been making cakes? Oh, I've been cooking cakes for about 15 years. And I've been cooking cakes, pies. I cook all the cakes for Thanksgiving and Christmas, all the desserts, every year. So, what inspired you to make, to make cakes or bake cakes? My mother, she used to cook cakes all the time for everybody. And I just, you know, watch her make cakes and, and I just start making cakes too. So, what would you tell somebody who's inspired to become a baker? Okay, you have to have passion at being a baker. And really, really like to cook cakes because it takes up a lot of time cooking cakes. But you can do it and be a baker. Just put your whole in it and you can do it. You can do all things. You can do it and be a baker. So when you said that your mother inspired you to bake, did you watch her baking growing up? No, I really didn't watch her growing up. But as I got older, I watched her and got all her recipes. So why would you say this cheesecake pound cake is so popular? Because my mother-in-law used to make the cakes for everybody. Everybody used to make cakes. She used to make two and three at the time. And I used to say, Mama, let me get your recipe. Let me get your recipe. No, you can't get the recipe. Can't get the recipe. And found like kept asking and kept asking. And she said, Elvin, you can get the recipe. And that's when I start making them cakes and they are really delicious. Okay, it's been an hour. So the cake is ready. We are taking the cake out in the oven. Put it in the oven for about 
putting it on the counter to let the cake get cool. Sticking the fork into the cake to make sure it's done when you don't see nothing on your on your knife or your toothpick or anything you can use. You know the cake is done. Now we have to let the cake cool at least for about about 20 or 30 minutes. Let it cool. Okay. Okay, then you like get the size of the cake. Like so if the cake can come out of the pan. And you turn the cake upside down. What I usually do, what I usually do, I usually um get the size, like get it off the pans and stuff. Then I put the plate on top of the cake. And turn the cake, the uh, pan upside down so the cake can come out. I need to put the cake, the plate up here. And take the plate and turn it upside down. 